Over the years since being in the ministry, I have read several studies that show a majority of Christians believe in a heaven, but not a hell. A whole lot of Christians believe that there's a God, but Satan and his demons are not real. And so many people believe in the world that God doesn't exist. And after years and years of looking at this and thinking about it and this, what's going on right now with the current state of the church and evangelicals, where I've been talking about how much they've lost their way. But the Lord has just been pressing it upon my heart this past year and several years before that you are in great danger if you've been following, if you have fallen prey to a false prophet, because you may not know it. Because as I was just studying my Bible and thinking of the story in Genesis of Sodom and Gomorrah, I talk about that a lot, but you know, the Lord showed me something new in there that I hadn't really seen before. So I have my notes, as you guys know, I try to have my notes here just to kind of reference some things and what we're gonna talk about. Because I was thinking here as I look, if you rem remember the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, remember that story. Now, remember, Abraham and Lot got into a big argument or so, him and his herdsmen, and everybody got into a dispute. They decided it's best to go their separate ways. So they did. And Lot looked over the plane, looked everywhere, and boom, I'm taking Sodom. He didn't have to take Sodom, but he took there. I'm sure the word was he knew how wicked that place was, but for some reason, he was went there. Once there, here he was working at a certain point when God heard, the, he decided, you know, I, it's too much going on down there. I'm going to go down there. I'm going to destroy the city. When he told Abraham, the cries are coming out from to me that this city, days are numbered. And Abraham got into this, wait a minute, if there's 50, 50 righteous people there, would you spare the city? And things of that. And the story goes on. And Lot was there at working the gate as the Lord sent some angels down to basically warn him. And I was thinking as I look at my notes that Christians, the evangelicals right now, they have wandered to a city in Sodom. They have left the spirit of the church, the church, and they have walked into the city of Sodom and Gomorrah and camped out there. And what has happened is, is that they are no longer sensitive to sin. They have lost their way. And you know, it's a dangerous thing because your mind has become blinded. If you're no longer sensitive to sin, where certain things used to be rational and they're no longer rational. You used to, the things that were wrong, but now you've compromised. And no longer. And that's what has happened with this current evangelicals that are alive and well today. And it made me think of that because thank God, Lot, even though, because we know he was, even though he was there in that city, he wasn't comfortable because it tells us in Peter, I don't know if it's first or second Peter, I can't remember, but his soul was vexed. He was troubled by being there seeing this wickedness, seeing what's going on. And it troubled him, but he continued to live there with his daughters and his uh, soon to be son-in-laws. And he stayed there, but he was sensitive enough to the spirit. And that's what I wanted to emphasize. That's huge that the e current evangelicals have lost the sensitivity to the spirit of the Holy, uh, to the voice of God. They, they don't hear. It's a dangerous thing when you don't hear the voice of God, when you are actually walking in darkness. It's like walking into the woods. The farther you go, the more lost you become. There's a study that was many years ago that stated that once you get past a certain age, it becomes very difficult 
for you to get saved and get your life right. It's like, I, there's a certain, I, I can't remember, but a certain age range early on that is the higher probability of you getting saved. And as time goes on, and what happens is you become in, uh, in, uh, desensitized. So sin doesn't bother you no more. You are actually in danger. And if you've been following false prophets, these prophets that are talking, that are exploiting the election, that are that have elevated Trump to a god, that have they're using all types of uh, the media and social platforms to promote not the gospel of Christ, but to promote their own agenda. In actuality, it's Satan promoting his agenda because Satan has stepped his game up. The next message, I'm going to talk about how he stepped it up and what he's doing beyond, uh, uh, beyond what's going on in America at the moment. So stick with me on that. Now, as I mentioned here, Lot still was sensitive to the voice of God and, the, and was able to discern and know that these angels were for him. And he welcomed them into his home. But the angels, when the time came, when the, the, they told him that they're going to destroy the city, get your family, get everybody out of here. And this is what it's like right now. You are in great danger. The evangelicals are in great danger because you've camped out in Sodom and Gomorrah. You've camped up and the Lord is saying, you better get out of there because my judgment is going to come upon the city. I've had enough. I've had enough of these false preachers going around in my name declaring, thus says the Lord. I'm tired of those going around performing uh, 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 false miracles and all of these things shaming my name. I'm tired of it. He's very loving. He's very kind, long suffering. God is. But at the same time, he's a God of judgment and he shall not be mocked. And the evangelicals right now that has elevated government, you don't elevate even the government. I don't care who's the president. You don't elevate no man. You don't worship no man. No human being has the solution to the problems of the world. Christ is the answer. And that's it. And so in here, as I close this message, I just want to say, you know, when them angels said, get your family. And when Lot went to his son-in-laws, they laughed at him. They didn't think he was serious. Why wouldn't they think that? Because they more likely figured, hey, you, you're here with us. Everybody, this, you know, this place, everyone's doing whatever, you know. Are you serious about some religious stuff in the Lord? See, that's an example to us as being head of, uh, within our households. We, us being an example as Christians. Us being that light. The light was, you know, they didn't see that light that was inside of Lot. Because if they did, they would have recognized that, you know what, the Lord has spoken. And when seeing the Lord is speaking now and he's saying, hurry, get your family, get your friends, get out of Sodom. Stop following man. Stop following other people, things and places. Get your life right before it's too late. My judgment has come upon the city. And there's going to be people because when you look at some of these churches and some of these places, not everyone in them churches are saved. It made me think about that. You can have a thousand people in a church, but based upon what's going on right now in society and those that are being led astray and following false prophets and being in some of this false teachings and some of these, all of this stuff that's going on. Unfortunately, there is people that they really truly need to be saved. And then there's others that have fallen away from the faith. So, I'm going to continue to pray for those that are out there that are lost. I want you to do the same. My name is Maurice Braxton, Evangelism for God, the channel that exposes Satan and his devices for who he is. Hit like if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel because that's what we do. We take issues head on. So until next time, my friends, take care. God bless.